Hey guys, this is Becca Witch and it's Saturday on Witches for Wellness. So how's everybody doing with their journaling? Are you guys keeping it up? Um, if you guys haven't already started, go over to Nika's Nika 2 Get Fit Challenge. Um, Nika 2 Get Fit is the, the channel. Nika, Nika 2 Get Fit Challenge is the group. Go over there, get started journaling, um, either write it down there. Don't wait until January. Do it now. That is something that I've heard from a couple of you guys, um, either in comments that I've seen on other videos, or I've had a couple of personal messages left at my channel, Becca Witch. Um, and you guys want to start in January. Don't start then. Start now. Do little things now. Don't say, oh, I'm going to diet then. Don't go on a diet. Go on a lifestyle change. That is something that I am now calling it. I am not calling it a diet. Diet is not in my vocabulary anymore. It is a bad, bad word. This is a lifestyle change. This is something that I know that I can do, that if I take these little baby steps, I will accomplish them. So don't start in January. Do it now. Start journaling now. And I asked you guys for another challenge last week. Go ahead and change one thing that you noticed that you are eating that's bad for you or maybe it's not quite as healthy as something else would be and to change that. So how did I do? Well, first couple days were great. But Thursday, I even though I woke up earlier than I normally do, I rushed out the door because I sat down and watched the news. Yeah, I shouldn't do that. I just wanted to see what the weather was, but then I realized, oh crap, I got to get to work. Yeah, I know. So I left it at home and I had to change, I had to make some compromises. Um, instead of getting that, that egg and hash brown casserole with the cheese and all the meat in it, I ended up getting eggs. And then they had potatoes and I asked how these potatoes were cooked. They had the skins on them, they were just kind of diced. Um, they said that they put them in the oven with a little bit of olive oil and salt and pepper on them and cooked them that way. And they were really, really good. And yes, I did have a little ketchup on them, like always, because I cannot eat an egg without ketchup. Call me weird, I know, but I, I like it that way. Um, so I did change it up a little bit. I didn't have the cheese. I didn't have, you know, all the, the extra meat, you know, all those extra calories. I did do better than what I normally would have. So at least that was good. Um, so this week I have a different challenge for you guys. And I'm liking these challenges, and I'm hoping you are too, and I'm hoping that you guys do them. Um, give me some feedback if you are doing these along with me. But this week I am going to try something new. Now that does not mean to try a new dessert, try something um, new that's high in calories, that's, that's loaded with fat and sugar and all that stuff. No, I am trying new vegetables or new fruits. That's what I'm talking about. Um, last week... Now, I like an artichoke dip, but last this last week, Photo Girl 1 had a recipe up, um, and I'm going to um, give you the link in the sidebar. Really, really good um, for artichokes and tomatoes, and you mix it with pasta. Oh my gosh, guys, it was so good. Now, I, I've ate artichoke dip, but I've never ate an artichoke any other way. Never. In fact, I wasn't even sure if I was really going to like artichokes. Guys, they were so, so good. Really, try it out. Um, try it with the salmon Salmon I had tonight for supper, and it was really, really good. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah, try something new. Try, you know, it doesn't matter what it is. As long as it is, is something healthy, maybe it's a new recipe, try something new. Get out of the same old rut of having your nor your normal foods that's so easy to prepare and whatnot. Um, yeah, try something new. Okay, and another thing I wanted to talk about was Thanksgiving that's coming up this week. It is Thursday, and um, yeah, it is a bad, bad day. But I want Nika to Darling. She was on, I think it was Wednesday. I think it's Wednesday's video. Um, she wanted to know what you guys were going to do to change, to be healthier for the holidays. Um, 
if you guys have not made a video or have not left a comment, go to that, that video, make a video response, um, leave a comment for and tell her what you are going to do to become healthier. Or leave it on this, this video too, you can do that. Um, what I am going to do, and this is a little tip for all of you guys too, you know, there's so much food and your plate just is not big enough to hold it all for what you want. And sometimes your stomach is not even big enough to hold it all either. But we push ourselves and we eat too much. Well, this time I'm taking a tablespoon of each item that I want and that's it. If I want more of it, I will take it home with me. Um, my mom is really good about letting me take home leftovers and usually she insists on giving me like half the half the turkey because she knows I'll eat it because I love turkey. Um, but yeah, you know, take some of it home. I'm sure your family would not mind. Um, don't go overboard. Board. Don't fill up your plate completely full of food and have it, you know, just coming off your plate. Don't do it. I want... Guys, I'm going to leave spaces on my plate. There will be little places here and there that will be open. No food is allowed on that plate. Um, a tablespoon, a large tablespoon of each item is all I'm going to take. The turkey is not going to be bigger than the size of my palm. In fact, usually I don't eat that much turkey anyhow in one setting. Um, so that'll, that'll probably be okay. So... Those little changes is what I'm going to do. Oh, and the pie. Oh my gosh, the pie. My mom always makes a pumpkin pie and a sour cream raisin. And I usually get two piece, or one piece of each, so two pieces total. This year, instead of the normal pie, which if you cut a, a nine inch round pie into eight pieces, that's the size of the piece of pie I usually get. I'm going to cut it in half. Get a half a pumpkin and a half of the sour cream raisin and put it together and not eat it all on that day. That is so important. We eat so many calories on Thursday for Thanksgiving. Oh my gosh, it's unreal. Um, so yeah, that'll, if you just take some of it home with you, nobody's going to care. You can have it for the next day. And on Friday, when you get up super, super early to go get those uh, good deals at local stores and you're running around with your head cut off well you're gonna burn off some of that energy so it'll be okay at least it will be in my mind um so that's all I have for you guys this week um just a couple little tips nothing too big but try something new try a new vegetable try a new um fruit something try something new and then tell me how you like it you know tell me how you prepared it you know, maybe make a video response by showing us a new recipe. We're always looking for new recipes. Um, one other, one other thing that I want to hit on. Um, thank you to all of the subscribers. We are growing each day, and uh, I'm not even sure what we're we're at right now, but I think we're close to 400. I think, I think that's right. Um, it, it's just, oh my gosh, guys. <sighs> It's unreal. So thank you. Thank you so very much to all the new subscribers. Um, also, if you guys are interested in becoming a guest vlogger or maybe you want to post a video um, <clears throat> to this channel, let me know. Let me know and I will get something done. I have a couple people that I've been talking to to do some guest vlogging next week um, while Nika is gone and uh, possibly some other times throughout the weeks in the next coming month or two. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to do it, do a guest vlog, let me know. All right, well, everybody have a safe, safe week. Um, if you're traveling somewhere, please be careful, and uh, everybody have a blessed day.